everybody. Recently, Timu contacted me about making an unboxing video, and even though I don't really do unboxing videos, I looked at the website, and I looked at the products, and then I looked at the prices, and I thought, why not? This is going to be fun. I am going to do this. Things I usually buy at a craft, fabric, or stationery store were a fraction of the price and the offerings were really unique. Things that I can't really find very often. Timu is an online marketplace that offers the most competitive price in a ton of different categories. We are talking fashion, jewelry, home decor, pet supplies, craft supplies, and more. And for spring, Timu is running a huge site-wide sale with 90% off on many of its products. And I'm going to leave a link for the products I'm sharing today for an extra 30% off. And just in case you're wondering, Timu has free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days. They accept all major credit and debit cards, electronic payments, and pay later programs like Klarna and Afterpay. Okay, it is time for the unboxing. I'm going to show you what I got and then we are going to make some things with them. Are you ready? Let's have some fun with Timu. I've been a little busy so I can't remember everything I ordered, but I'm seeing some things I'm super excited to start using. Right on top is a new sweater, blue of course, because I wear blue all the time. Okay, now we're hitting the jackpot mini tarot cards, and I can't wait to use this wax seal set. Here we have watercolors, oil-based paint markers, I think this is gold leaf, Okay, here it is all laid out for you. Let's go over what I got and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do with it. Here we have some beautiful fabric squares, perfect for needle books, art journals, or just putting funky patches on something. If the patterns are really nice, I like to photocopy them for paper collage projects. I've been really wanting a pair of these wire bending pliers and just never got around to buying one. Great for jewelry making, which I seem to do a lot lately. Oh, I forgot I ordered Silver Leaf too. I'm definitely going to show you how to use this on a jewelry project. You know how much I love Happy Mail, so this wax seal set is going to keep me busy for hours. I found some beautiful pearlescent blue wax too. This set comes with six different stamps that screw onto this perfect little wooden handle. And I think my favorite in the set is this bee with the honeycomb pattern background. I love the colors in this set of 24 watercolors. I just started illustrating a children's book and I think these colors are going to work perfectly for some of the pages. And this is a really beautiful green and this is the perfect little container. I can always use wire, I use it in everything. This is a super nice collection of semi-precious chip beads. I was super excited about this bag of small enamel charms. I have several nieces who like to come over and make jewelry with me and they are going to love these. This swan is super sweet and so is this apple and who doesn't love little cherries and a black seahorse. I also ordered some simple charms in silver and gold without the enamel. It's hard to find good glass paint and I have high hopes for this set. 
Plus, I've been experimenting with some food-safe varnishes, and I can't wait to show you how easy it is to paint dishes that are food-safe. Oil-based paint markers are also amazing for painting glassware and adding accents to furniture pieces, and I love that this set has 12 colors. And I also ordered a smaller set because I tend to go through these markers pretty quickly. You can never have too much epoxy resin, and this little kit is perfect for some of my smaller jewelry projects. I'm not really sure why I ordered these mini tarot cards, but I'm glad I did, and I'm sure they'll end up on some happy mail or in my junk journal. Finally, I ordered this blue and white striped shirt and it's super soft velour fabric and I can't wait to wear it. Okay, let's try working with a few of these supplies. The first thing I wanted to try was this amazing set of wax seals and I'm putting them in an art journal so I can experiment with them a little bit. I really love this bee and honeycomb design. This is a mold of a face and I wanted to cover it in silver leaf. So here I am putting leafing glue on it and then after it dries, I'll add the silver leaf. And this is the final project. Like I said, I'm working on a children's book right now and I love this set of nature-inspired watercolors. I use a lot of metallic gold accents in my furniture makeovers and I got an entire box of these markers. So let's see how metallic-y if that's a word, they are. Ooh, that looks really nice. Before I make a big project with this resin, I want to see how it works in this small silicone mold. And as you can see, it is just perfect. I'll definitely be ordering some more of this. These wire bending pliers are super sturdy and work perfectly. Look at that perfect circle. Finally, I want to try out these glass paints and I've pulled out my record player to make some stripes on a votive holder. And I love the consistency of this paint and the colors mix well together too, so I'm really happy with this purchase. Make sure to head over to Timu. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for everything I shared today, plus an extra 30% off. Thumbs up if you like this video. Leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Press the notification bell so that you know I have a new video. Subscribe to my Instagram page, at the Mark Montano. Grab any one of my craft books for inspiration. I think you'll like The Big Ass Book of Crafts Volume 2. I'll see you next week. Check out Timu. Timu is my new shopping obsession. You guys are going to love this site. I swear it.